Hey guys, it's Brayden, and today we're going to be making our string of commands read from a text file. This is the second most requested video other than Google searching things, which is a complete different situation, which I will explain later. But so for to begin, we're going to take all of ours. First of all, we're going to go find we're going to go on our D drive or our C drive, and we're going to create a new, um, I'm going to do it on my D drive. I'm going to go here and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this voice on commands. Okay. Then in there, we're going to create a new text file. Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring in the background. And we can create commands.txt. And in here, we can take all of our commands, paste them in there. Actually, let's go over here. I paste all of them in here, so we're going to do control F. And we're going to find a quotation mark, and we're going to replace it with nothing, replace all, and we're going to do the same with comma, replace all. And now we're going to separate. Actually, a way we could do this is if we leave all of the commas there. So if we just replace all of the commas back with the spaces, back with nothing, replace all, get rid of those. Hello. We want to make sure we don't have any spaces on here. And we want to make sure we get all of our strings accurate. What is today? Open Bing. Bing is disgusting. I don't recommend it. Create Sleep, restart. So the way the program is going to interpret this is for every line that it reads, see how it says line 1, 2, 3, all the way through 11 so far? For each line, that is going to be considered a command. Light on, light off, open office, close office. What's the weather like? What's the temperature? Tell me a joke. Minimize. Unminimize. Maximize. Play. Pause, Spotify, next and last. Now all of these, we have 24 commands saved to our text file. So we can go here and right here, we're going to get rid of where it says new string until it says this. And we're going to do file dot read. Nope. We have to import file IO or system IO. And we do read all lines. So we tell the program to read every single line of the text file and replace that with a string as we had the strings and commas in here. Let's do this. And put your at sign because we're going to a directory. And I'm going to do d backslash. And it was voice bot commands. Voice bot commands slash commands dot txt. Now, what's our first command? If we say, let's see, what's an easy one? Hello. 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 Hi. It responds with hi. So, if 
from that, we know that our program is loading from the text file and everything's all right. So, thanks for watching. Check back in the next week or so for a new video where I'm going to be showing you how to create commands that are much more simpler to use. Thanks for watching.